Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to show you a new application called Kohler Classical, which is built on top of the great uh, digital audio workstation Reaper and provides you with complete multi take, multi track, track group editing like you've never seen before. So, what you have here in front of you is a um, Mozart Symphony 35. The, you, it looks like you've got 10 tracks here, but what you actually have is 10 track groups. Each one of these colored things is a group of 45 or so tracks. So if, if I click here, I can open this track group up, and there you see all the individual tracks. And then here, all the individual tracks there. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to line up all your takes for a piece in time order. So you can see here's all the takes and then I can do cut and paste editing from any source up into my destination which is my final edited product. So the editing is very simple and it uses what's called four-point editing. In four-point editing all you do is you select an in and an out point in your source an in and out point in your destination and you do the edit. So for example let's say I wanted to replace this section here, I could put, let's, um, I'll zoom here, put my in point here, let's say I just want to replace this one or two, let's say two of these humps from there to there. So I'll play that. So I'm just going to replace those two chords. Let's say I wanted to replace it with this take down here, put my in point here, my out point there, check to make sure it's the same spot and that's the source that's the destination and then I do the edit and there it is so now take five is up here instead of what was there before I can also undo it with one click now it's back to take 13 which is what it was um, I'll turn on keystrokes here so you can see the keystrokes I'm using as I do the video um, so the track groups provide you with this capability of having multiple takes, non-synchronous takes. In other words, these are not click track takes. Reaper has a, a built-in capability called comping for doing handling click track music, but that's useless for non-click track music. This allows you to do editing of music that's not exactly synchronized and overlaps with each, all the mics overlap with each other. So, and the screen you see here is going to look the same whether you're editing something that's a single stereo track or whether you're editing something like this, which is 45 tracks. It's all the same. Whenever I do an edit, it does the entire number of tracks that I'm editing at that moment. So, um, to navigate here, we can move back and forth quickly with single keystrokes, or we can click to navigate to a different group. Each time we go to a group, it auto solos that group and mutes everything else. So you're only listening to one track group at a time. If I want to hear, you know, different choices for a take, I can quickly put markers on each track. That's a, a new feature of Kohler Classical, where each track group has its own set of markers. So I put an in point there, for example, and let's say I want to listen to the same point on all these tracks. So I put in points at the same point. Now with single keystroke, I can listen to the different tracks instantly with a single key click. And whether or not they're perfectly aligned doesn't matter because I can immediately go to the in point and play it. Um, so the navigation is really simple. Everything, every keystroke in Kohler Classical operates instantaneously under 20 milliseconds. So if I want to zoom to the entire project, I hit A. If I want to zoom to the track that I'm working on, I just hit uh, uh, Shift Z. If I want to zoom to a particular item, I can hit Z. Or if I create a selection area in the ruler and hit Z, it zooms to that. Or if I have an in and an out point set and I hit Z, it zooms to that. And I can, go, I can step back through previous zooms with P and forward through zooms with Shift-P. 
So instantaneous zooming and instantaneous moving amongst your marks and your edits. If I hit N for next, that takes me to the next thing in the timeline. So the edge of the fade, center of the fade, edge, edge, center, edge. If there's a mark, it goes to the mark, etc. So you can step through your fades. B goes backwards. It's all intuitive and instantaneous. You can go to the end of the track, the beginning of the track, the beginning of the next track, previous track. Um, you can also instantaneously audition a fade by hitting shift right arrow. Now, um, the fade editor, there's a whole brand new fade editor which allows you to do everything you need to do with a fade, crossfade in a click and drag instantaneous interface. So if I come into a fade, all I do is put move my cursor near a, near a fade, hit F, brings me into the fade editor. I can now drag the right side with simple drag. I can drag the left side. I can change the shape and length of this fade in any way, including asynchronous, including asymmetric fades, different shapes of curves, etc. I'm not going to go through all of that here because I have other videos that show that in great detail. But everything you need to do with a fade can be done with some click and drag instantaneously. I can I can uh, change the length of both sides of the fade, etc. And when you click Escape to exit the fade editor, it's instantaneously and automatically saved, so you never lose a single edit in Kohler Classical. You can also, when you're in the fade editor, um, simply go to the next fade with, with a click, or previous fade with a click. Now, the other thing that's important in Kohler Classical is that, and unique in the industry, is that every time you do an edit, everything ripples. That means all the edits ripple, all the markers ripple, and all the automation points ripple. Now, the automation is used for detailed balancing when we have multi-track audio. So let me show you in here by zooming out and opening up the automation tracks. You can see I have hundreds of automation points here on various tracks, okay? And see all the points down here, okay? Now, every time I make an edit, those move. So if I drag this right side of the fade, you'll see these automation points move along with everything else, plus a mark. Let me put a mark here and a mark here. And I drag the right side of the fade. Everything moves. Move it back, comes back. Move the left side of the fade. Everything moves. So every time you make an edit, the automation points are sticking to the audio, the marks are sticking to the audio, and of course all the edits are rippling. That is critical because it allows you to do your editing, your mixing, and your balancing all simultaneously, making your project workflow infinitely faster. Um, and add to that the fact that all of these commands operate instantly, and you have an incredibly fast environment. Now, for auditioning, we have a set of keystrokes. There's, hundred, there's hundreds and hundreds, more than 400 new functions here. And there's dozens and dozens of commands just for auditioning. So for example, if I'm about to do an edit, one of the things I'm going to want to do is audition that edit before I do it. So if I have, let's say, an in point here and an out point here, and I'm about to do an edit on that, OK? I'm about to cut and paste that up into the destination track in the same spot, which is about right uh, here. I'm going to want to listen to it. So I can hit F8. That auditions between the in and the out point um, on the destination track. If I hit F8, OK? If I hit Command F8, it auditions between in and out on the source. And all these commands are repeatable instantaneously. So you can listen over and over. But if I want to listen going to the endpoint, I hit F9. From the endpoint, F10. To the outpoint, F11. From the outpoint, F12. And all of those, the same thing on the source by adding the command key. Command F9 to the endpoint, from the endpoint, to the outpoint, from the outpoint. So I can go back and forth by adding and taking away the command key. So here's. F10, Command F10, F10. 
or F12, Command F12. And it's instantaneous, whether this is a single track file or like this one, a 45 track file. It's all instantaneous. Um, those audition keys, most of them apply when you're inside the fade too. So if, if I'm inside editing a fade here and I hit spacebar, that auditions the fade. Two seconds before, two seconds after. If I hit F9, it plays to the fade. F10 plays from the fade. Again, all instantaneous and all repeatable instantaneously. So I can, I can do this. Because oftentimes we want to listen over and over again to make sure it's correct. Now, the installation of this software takes just less than a minute. And then all future versions are auto-updated in less than seconds. So installation is incredibly fast. And the whole system has a new menu system completely designed explicitly for this editing. All the commands you need are organized. There's all your source destination commands, all your view commands for changing the horizontal, vertical, and waveform zoom levels, all your marker commands for setting them, for deleting them, for loading and saving them, um, all your play and record commands. Kohler Classical also allows you to do multi-track, track group recording in a single click. And again, I have videos that'll show you that. Um, and you can also, it has some extremely advanced features for doing things like um, saving um, wave file metadata and, and other things along those lines. You can also master your final CD and generate a Red Book standard output of the uh, track data to, to send to the factory. Um, and then it has complete automation editing to allow you to do the balancing. Navigation, you know, going between the groups, the destination, the source, left, right, up and down, navigating to markers, edits, crossfades, time selections, envelope points, um, and between project tabs. You can have multiple project tabs open. So there's, there's innumerable features here, too many to mention in this short video, but as you can see, this provides you with exactly the type of editing functionality you need to handle multi-track track group projects, which is totally unique and state-of-the-art in Kohler Classical. Everything is just one click away.